Okay, so my name is Valerie Ratz, and I am a Parkway through student through and through. Um, I started out um, in kindergarten at Weber School. I did all my grade school at Craig School, and then went on to do my junior high experience at Parkway East, and then completed high school at Parkway West. Um, and I had a great experience throughout those years. Um, now I am a reproductive endocrinologist and infertility specialist at Washington University School of Medicine here in St. Louis. Um, I am married. I married a fellow St. Louisan, although not a Parkway student, and uh, he's also a physician in town, an orthopedic surgeon, Matthew Gornett. And we have three children. I have a daughter, age 16, a son, 14, and another son who's age 11. Um, and in preparing for this, I kind of thought about my, um, my high school and grade school experiences and um, what that brought to me and what that meant to me. And I think that, um, uh, first off, I, I remember my high school experience and I remember the teachers that influenced me. Um, and there was, in our uh, senior year, there were always, there was always this mathematicians versus the poets. And I think that that's a, that kind of describes a sort of a conflict in life that we still uh, we were, there are were always the mathematicians and there always will be the poets and we had a big softball game that we played and that was, it was, it was really great. Dr. Buss was my math teacher and I still think about him. He taught my brothers who are also Parkway students who were a year and two years behind me um, math and uh, I did pretty good in math but my brother is now a, a professor of engineering so I think Dr. Buss really influenced him which was great. So my experiences at Parkway I think have truly were the beginning that modeled what I was going to do later on in my life. I think um, at Parkway we were a, a big group of kids. Actually, I, it was interesting because I went through in that baby boomer period of time and I remember actually at one point I was going to school in the church across the street because the classrooms were so big. But I think that we never suffered because of that. I think we had great teachers who, who really cared. If they were there, they were working really hard and it, and it, and it worked really well. Um, uh, so I was influenced by a lot of kids who were working very hard, who appreciated um, going to a good public school, Parkway at that time, and now has a great reputation. And I think that um, the kids going there, um, their parents thought highly of what they were doing. Um, we did all sorts of things. We were able to do music. I learned the viola through my in the grade school time and I, I still play that now even though I've never actually had any formal playing. I, I picked it up with my own kids so that's been really great. Well I think there's a very interesting experience that I had about being a um, Parkway student and a St. Louisan. You know we always talk about where did you go to high school and that's a, a, always a big question of St. Louis. And one memory that I have is I went away, I, you know, once I left high school, I really I didn't come back for quite a while. I went to University of Illinois in Champaign, was there for four years, and then went off to medical school at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And I was there for my medical school training, my residency training, and my fellowship training. And then uh, I wanted to come back to St. Louis. My husband was from St. Louis, and my parents were here, and this is where we wanted to, to come back to. And an interesting story is I, I was asked to give a lecture in preparation for trying to get a job at Washington University in the Department of OBGYN. And they brought me in into this big lecture hall, and I'm going to give this big, big lecture to a lot of different OBGYNs trying to get, get a position. And as I'm sitting there, I introduce myself and I say, yes, I'm Valerie Ratz. I'm uh, originally from St. Louis. And from out in the audience, one of the professors, actually the chairman, goes, so where'd you go to high school? And I said, Parkway West. And everybody in the, la in the audience chuckled. And that's actually one of, I think, a great, um, that was a great experience where my high school kind of came out and I was proud of it, uh, you know, as I was beginning my prof professional career back here in St. Louis. And that, that's, a, that's actually a, a good memory that I hadn't thought of till I kind of sat here again and, and were thinking about important things where um, that has influenced me. Uh, you know, I take care of patients now who are from the St. Louis area and from Parkway schools and I always, and Parkway West, and I always find it interesting to, uh, you know, ask how things are in high school now. Have they changed? Are they different? So uh, it, it continues to influence me. I think it's also interesting, you know, when you go away from St. Louis and then you come back, um, 
you, you know, you're, you're kind of doing your own thing, and it always amazes me that sort of out of the blue, you're always doing something kind of silly, and then somebody comes comes up to you and they're, you know, a high school friend that you haven't seen for 20 years. And my hobbies, um, uh, my, my biggest love outside of um, medicine is, uh, is dance and, um, and ballet and uh, that was something I did quite a bit when I was in high school. We, we had a dance um, production every year and that was uh, really important. And uh, the year that I was a senior I actually fell off the stage and that was, that was that something that I always kids that I see from time to time, we always remember that. Um, but I still love dance now. Uh, you know, dance St. Louis is an important part of my life. The specific teachers that influenced me, you know, I, you look back and you, you don't want to miss anybody because it's really important because there, there, are, there are teachers that, you know, when you think back 25 years, sometimes you can't even remember their names, but their faces are in your, your, your thinking of. I think of um, I think of my, my kindergarten teacher, Ms. Crombat, you know, I think of Mrs. Beisel, who was my first grade teacher, who, who you know, they had to take all those little kids and model them and make them, um, push them forward. Um, Ms. Mashoff was the first teacher who taught me how to do a science project, and that was very influential and obviously very helpful as I moved forward in my career. Um, in high school, the teachers that influenced me the most, first was my math teacher, Mr. Buss. Um, and he taught calculus, and he, he, everybody, even if they weren't a great math student, learned a lot of calculus in his class, and they had a lot of fun doing it. He spent about, you know, if a class was about 40 minutes, he spent about 30 minutes just kind of joking around and talking and finding out what everybody was doing, and then 10 minutes of very intense math, but that was enough to kind of make sure that the message got across and, and, and you just kind of soaked it up as a kid. And he was the one that sort of organized the mathematicians and the poets. We had this big softball game at the end of our senior year and you had to pick. You had to pick if you were going to be a mathematician or if you were going to be a poet. A poet was someone who was really good in English and writing and those sort of skills. And you know sometimes it was kind of tough because you know you wanted to be a well-rounded kid but they made you decide and so you had the mathematicians on one side and the poets on the other and you had a big softball game and that, that was a lot of fun. I also remember my um, chemistry teacher Mrs. M uh, Ratcliffe um, and she uh, you know obviously she um, piqued my interest in chemistry and the sciences. Uh, I remember at one point I was kind of you know I had kind of senioritis at the end of the year and I was kind of sliding a little bit and she kind of said you know Valerie you're not going to get an A if you don't keep you know keep keep working here. She kind of recognized I was sliding and she kind of just put that little fire under me and said, you know, got to got to keep going here. You you're, you're just starting. You can't stop now even though you got senioritis. You got to keep going. And you know, I at a, at the time as a kid, I'm like, you know, why why are you doing this? Why are you why are you telling me these things? But in retrospect, she cared. She cared a lot.